back in the day when I was a noob, I made some mistakes. Oh, ah, ah. And, and most new riders, you're, you're going to make some mistakes. I'm going to tell you five things that new riders do really bad and how not to do them. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. So one of the big things I see new riders do out here that I, I, I cringe. I just shake my head. Is I see far too many noobs out here that don't wear gear or they wear partial gear. They'll wear just a helmet. Some of them don't even wear gloves, man. It's crazy. Some of them don't wear a jacket. They wear a t-shirt. They got jeans on or shorts and just a helmet. And I'm just shaking my head. I'm like, it's good that they got the helmet on, though. At least they got that because that's really important because you lose your brain, your life. That you, know, you lose your quality of life, really, you know. Uh, your brain is everything. But... <sighs> Yeah, boy, I had to hear that triple, boy. <laughs> that full Kropovich exhaust sound in Pearl Pie. Yeah. But, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, I love that torque. You don't even have to go fast to feel that goodness on this MT-09. <laughs> but, yeah, man. Noobs out there, wear all the gear. Helmet, airbag vest, jacket, gloves, pants, boots. And I'll tell you guys, this helmet, I, uh, ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tint shield is my favorite helmet and all of this gear. This airbag vest to help keep me safe. All my gear, I have links to all of my gear in the description and comment section of this video. So if you want some good stuff, get my gear, guys. But just wear gear. Whatever you do, wear the gear because it's going to help keep you from having an effed up day out here. You know what I'm saying? Possibly. Or it's going to make you have less of an effed up day. Uh, but another thing I see a lot of new riders, uh, bad things that they do is the number one thing I have to say is they ride scared. They're riding, they're riding around like this, man. They're like, they're scared. They, they hear on TV how motorcycles are so dangerous. Everybody tell you, oh, you're, you're going to die if you ride a motorcycle. So they're riding around here and they're looking at cars and, and they're scared. And, 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 and then they panic brake. They grab off front brake real fast. And, and then they go over the handlebars if they don't have, you know, combined ABS brakes. And, uh, you know, that's how a lot of noobs crash because they're riding scared and they panic. You got to be chill, man. Whatever you do, you got to stay calm. You got to have a sense of calm out here on the street, man. Uh, no matter what. Because you're going to be able to, it's going to help you make the right decision, you know. And so calm down and understand that you have to ride defensively. I've said that in millions, a lot of my videos, guys. New riders, you need to learn the skill of riding defensively. Okay, I tell you guys, treat each and every one of these cars as though they're an enemy and they're going to get you. But don't be scared about it. Don't don't ride with anxiety and be scared. Oh, oh you know what I'm saying? And, and, and be ready to hit all front brake and end up crashing unnecessarily. But you just see danger before it happens and be ready. You know, if you look at every car that's getting ready to pull out as though they're going to turn out on you. Look at their wheels. Hit the horn. Hit the horn to get their attention. Be ready to brake. When you see that car right there, see how he's moving slightly? Look at that, look at him. Look at it to the right, look at that, look. See, I hit that horn way ahead of time, man. This is the number one skill that riders need to have at survival skills out here on the street is to ride defensively. But another thing that new riders do that's really bad is a lot of them will get too much motorcycle for their skill because they don't want to, you know, it, it's a macho thing with men. Like they got to have this big, powerful motorcycle like they do with cars. They got to have the big muscle car to be the macho guy. And a lot of them see motorcycles the same way. Oh, I got to have the big 
the big powerful Harley Davidson or sport bike. I gotta have a liter bike. Cause yeah, you know, I gotta be the man out here. I gotta look, yeah, I can't be riding around no little little slow bike. I ain't gonna get no respect out here. Let me tell you, people don't care about what you ride out here. Most people don't like motorcycles. They don't care about motorcycles, okay? Nobody cares. Okay? It's about what 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 about yourself. Staying safe out here, riding the motorcycle that you have the skills to ride. You know, start small, lightweight, slower bike, like a Kawasaki Ninja 300 or 400 or a Ninja 650 or a, a CB 300 or, you know, these smaller bikes. And the smaller bikes are more fun out here because you can rip the throttle and throw them around, you know. You'll gain a lot of confidence on a lightweight bike. And that's another point. There's a lot of new riders that they'll get a heavy bike. They're, for the cruiser noobs out there, they'll get this big hulking uh, Harley Davidson bagger that weighs like, I don't know, like 900 pounds or something. And, uh, and, and it's too much weight for them. And they end up dropping their beautiful Harley Davidson and it end up costing them a fortune to get fixed up. You don't have the skills to maneuver that type of weight around, man. So stop with the macho crap and get the bike that's best suited for you. Another thing that new riders are bad at is the braking skills. Like a lot of them, they'll, they'll try to emulate Valentino Rossi around these corners trying to get a knee slide in and, and they have no skills. And they'll end up braking mid-corner, grabbing too much front brake and then it, it straightens the bike up and it throws them wide and they end up crashing off the side of the road. Either that or they low side because they're idiots. Do not treat these roads as a racetrack trust me ride slow around the corners okay and, and don't break you don't need to break in the corners all right when you get more skilled you'll learn you'll be able to go a little bit quicker around the corners and do trail braking you know but starting off you know avoid breaking in the corners you know take it easy go slow in the corners you know take your time stop trying to be something you are not that you don't have the skills for I'm trying to keep you guys alive out here. And another thing that new riders are bad at is that when they crash their motorcycle, they give up riding. They say, man, this is dangerous out here. Man, I, I want to live. I don't want to die out here. This Man, it scares the life of them when they crash. Dude, you can't give up. You know, it's like your bike. When you're on your bicycle and you crash your bicycle, most people don't give up riding a bicycle. You know what I'm saying? You get back on it and you become better for it. You'll be a better rider. Uh, same with motorcycles. You'll be a better rider when you get back on the bike. You've learned what you did wrong and, and figure out what you did wrong and become better at it, you know. And that's why it's imperative to wear like an airbag vest and all the gear, man. Because if you do go down, this is going to help keep you from really having an effed up day. These airbag vests can literally keep you from ending up in a, a cripple in a wheelchair, man. Because <laughs> it protects your spine and your vital organs. Like I said, I have a link to this airbag vest I have in the description and comment section of this video when it comes in, in black, orange, and high vis. Uh, highly recommend it, guys. Don't give up, man. You know, it's like being a soldier at, at battle. You know, these guys, they get shot or something, uh, you know, they, they keep going, man. They, they're strong. They're mentally, it's a mental, you have to have mental strength to ride out here on the streets, you know. Uh, just like on a battlefield when you're in the service you got to have this mental strength that's going to help keep you alive keep you in survival mode same with a motorcycle you can't be a little punk ride a motorcycle out here on the streets man you can't you know don't never give up guys don't give up keep riding i've seen guys that have been in horrific crashes and end up with no legs and they still ride a motorcycle man they don't give up they don't let it defeat them but you have to ride smart out here to stay safe. You got to ride defensively. Can't be a little punk out here on the streets. I'm trying to help you guys. You know what I'm saying? So I hope this video helps you guys out. Leave a comment below and, and list some other things that new riders are bad at. You know, so we can talk as a community here and help each other out. That's what this channel's about. To incite community discussion. So we can learn from each other, baby. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to subscribe to my All of My Motorcycle channel. And make sure to check out my other channel. Bug Out Moto. Deuces.
thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new writers and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.